To develop socio-financial sustainability along with livelihood standards to drive on for upmarks fully on the hardcore disadvantaged and indigenous community peoples, in 1993, a non-government organization named as Development Initiative for Social Advancement, Disha, started its footprint at Borkoid village of Chandina Upajila under Kumilla district, which competently led by Mr. Shahidullah. In this long journey, Disha involved their whole efforts and initiative with the community people around the various places of the country, especially Kumilla on education, mother and child health care, microcredit, sustainable environment, safe water, sanitation and nutrition, children and women development, and social awareness build up related various programs. We have started some activities on awareness building and sensitization in this area since 1993 on various development issues. In 1994, we started microcredit program. We are receiving fund from PKSF in running microcredit program and made plan to expand microcredit activities with the assistance from different banks also. Day by day, the working area of our organization is getting bigger. Disha initiated development interventions through classifying grassroots level peoples in different categories. So, microcredit program has been designed with diversified components. Disha's one of the main objectives was to empowering low-income group women and make them economically productive. These women members are easily involved themselves in various income generating activities like agro-farming, nursery, poultry farm, etc. under the rural microcredit component of microcredit program. Shirina Begum of Shananagar village under Debita Thana, a group member of RMC loan program, now became self-sufficient by running a nursery project. Shirina's husband also cooperate and supportive for her in doing nursery works. Seven years back, I was sick. I got married and came to husband's home at that time. We had no money and did not get financial support from father-in-law. We had to lead a very hard life. Getting information from a sister-in-law, I become a member of Disha Microcredit Group. I received a loan of Taka 7000 and built up this nursery. We earned 30,000 to 35,000 by selling saplings from the nursery. Now my two daughters have been admitted in the school and we are leading sound life. Low earner women of the urban areas are also involved within Disha's program spontaneously. These group members are able to find their earnings by making business on various types of farming, shopping and transportation under the urban microcredit program. My husband, a rickshaw puller. Some of our husbands are running business and some have workshops. Some are doing mechanical works, some are running auto car, some of us are doing sewing works. These are ways how we are leading our life.
Barvin Begum of Jafarabad village is one of the group members of ME loan scheme. She has created employment opportunity in her own net factory for more other disadvantaged male females of that village where some young ladies who are deaf and speech problem also working at the factory. Rahima Begum of Sultanpur village is also a group member of ME loan scheme. She is running fisheries farm successfully in eight ponds by taking lease within the village. Saleha Begum of Soyedpur village informed that she is leading comfortable livelihood nowadays by being a member of seasonal loan component of microcredit program. We are extremely poor in previous years and were staying in a hut. My husband was facing severe health problem due to paralysis. I have come to today's improved stage by getting and selling milk of these cows. In last year also I received 80,000 taka as loan from Disha to buy cows. Now we have built new houses. We have come to this stage and step ahead by running cow rearing business. Furthermore, Disha is running another component of microcredit program in the name of seasonal loan scheme. Under this program, the group members are provided seasonal loan and agricultural loan to operate agro-based farming, dairy and beef fattening business. As a whole, Disha envisaged their entire inspiration spirit to all the employment opportunity, raising business efforts towards all levels of peoples of the communities. Disha established a lot of success stories like mentioned above in poverty affected distressed areas of Chandina, Borura and Debitar of Kumila district along with many other regions of Bangladesh. Considering the demand, we are in process to make a strategic plan to expand microcredit program. We are running microcredit program in few districts are Kumilla, Chandpur, Brahmanbaria, Naranganj and Dhaka. In coming years, we will start microcredit program in other districts around Dhaka like Norshindi, Munshiganj and other areas in Lokipur and Noakhali districts. Disha's housing project put forward an important and effective role in ensuring a durable settlement for the poor dwellers of villages. Disha started implementing this intervention on rural housing in Chandina and Borura Upajela of Kumilla district with the financial assistance of Grihayan Tohobil through Bangladesh Bank in 2003. Disha has taken steps for producing handicrafts products by the efforts of distressed and differently able adolescents and women of villages with the fund from its own sources. Disha has taken responsibility for marketing and getting real price of these handicrafts products for the financial solvency of the women workers. Disha is running education program in partnership with BRAC. The children who are dropped out from government primary school aged between 8 to 10 years are attending in non-formal primary education center of Disha. Children are learning through amusement from the education center. Later on, completion of study at the education center more of them ensure their higher education scope by getting admission to secondary schools. We have learned huge disciplinary including norms and values. We also have learned to respect elders and to be affectionate to youngers at the community. Alughar. This stepping is an impetuous and radical revolution bringing in new era of Disha's successive activities. 
Disha provides more prevalence to public library program as a mostly important tool to spread the spirit of education to the society. So, Disha established Alughar in 2006 and able to show the free access of knowledge and enlightening storage of information amongst the whole people of the society. Everyone's mind cheered at once after entering to the present address of Alughar at E by 11 Pallabi extension by observing heaps of rows of books. Alughar preserved their collection of 6,000 books and 1,000 magazines. Category-wise quality books attracted all aged readers. Awareness-based posters and photography on Liberation War of Bangladesh postage on the wall. I am unable to read in my house due to non-existence of quiet environment. So, I come to Alokhar to read regularly. I used to read here quietly. Here I feel very much well. I used to read various types of books. I like specially one thing that the students came here with their textbooks to read. Here have some of child affairs readable books. The children are reading and learning without the help of any teacher. I feel well to see this. Presently, by rotation in average, 150 to 200 readers used to come Alughar daily and present space able to accommodate to readers approximately at a time easily. Alughar collected and maintained regularly 17 numbers of daily newspapers, 18 numbers of weeklies and monthly magazines, There is an archive of five numbers of daily newspapers for last six years copies for the help of the readers to search or reference uses. Alughar Public Library opened at 9 a.m. and kept to open till 8 p.m. for any aged readers to learn here. I am a member of this organization. I am entitled to take books from here to home and able to keep one week. I am able to read this book along with my normal course study. For this, I used to come here and used to lend books. It seems me to that I benefited by reading here. The fund sources of Alughar is mainly from the monthly donations of the staff of Disha. We get donation from the various level from Taka 30 to 150. Out of this, we get support from Alughar supporter group, though they are presently a small body. In initial stage, we got various financial support from a project of protection of child abuse implemented with the assistance of Save the Children, Sweden, Denmark. Now, the membership of Alughar have 852 persons. I am a member of Disha Library from last one year. Here I used to read various novels, storybooks and various writers' books. I like these books. I can keep these books to my home from here. I can keep these books for one week. I invited my friends to come here. The environment of here is mostly pleasant and quiet. The mostly remarkable facility for the members of Alughar to get the opportunity of using computers with the facility of internet connections. I am Himel. I read in third year honors. I am a member of Disha Alughar for last two years. I come here often to browse, also to lend books. I got more benefit from here. Alughar has more facilities than other libraries, especially net browsing facilities, which are not available in other library. Always get best service. Net speed is best. Yeah, I am benefited. Hoping to get same facility like now in future continuously.
differently able children and the children from financially insolvent families who are studying in class 